They've been with you all of your life. Laughing. <laughs> loving. Living. Hello, everyone, and welcome to my The Young and the Restless official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Spoilers for the upcoming week of April 1st to 5th on The Young and the Restless. Indicate that Victor Newman will proceed with his preparations to throw a grand celebration for Newman, which is fitting to take place in the Jazz Lounge. Victor will gather a large group of Newmans, along with their significant others and a few close friends, thinking that it will provide Nikki Numa with a welcome diversion after everything that she has gone through. Everyone in attendance will be dressed elegantly for this authentic Newman celebration. Of course, Jordan is still alive and ready to wreak havoc whenever she gets the chance. Will Jordan make it out to become a party crasher, or will this be the tranquil celebration Victor had in mind? In any case, Victoria Newman and Cole Howard will undoubtedly have some passionate moments during this party, which may result in their kissing or at least getting near to it. Victoria says she doesn't have time for a romantic relationship. <laughs> Here's to many more. But as she gets closer to Cole, she might reconsider. Will Adam Newman and Chelsea Lawson be able to persuade Connor Newman that the new residential treatment program in Maryland is the best choice for him? Adam and Chelsea are determined to get Connor the treatment he needs to deal with his OCD diagnosis, even though it won't be an easy undertaking. Now that Tucker McCall is putting pressure on Ashley Abbott to see a psychologist in Genoa City, let's move on to Ashley Abbott. Will Ashley eventually find someone to placate Tucker, given that it appears he won't take no for an answer? If not, Tucker may persuade Jack Abbott or even Tracy Abbott to encourage Ashley to go into it instead. But it's possible that Ashley will continue to reject any professional help, which could send her into a tailspin before anybody can identify the cause of her incoherent personality. Lily Winters can encounter criticism for her choice to eject Daniel Romilotti Jr. and Heather Stevens from Chancellor Winters, according to other YNR spoilers. In addition to Heather choosing to take revenge and assist Daniel in regaining control of Omega Sphere, Phyllis Summers might opt to fight back on Daniel's behalf. Billy Abbott should also be taken into account, as he can contend that Lily is an unstable leader who makes too many choices based on her feelings. Will Billy push Jill Abbott to have him take Lily's seat instead? Stay tuned for all the awful news that's still to come. Our forecasts indicate that there will be more drama between the Chancellor and Winters. According to spoilers, there will be highs and lows over the week of April 1st to 5th, so check back with us for updates on all the surprises and shakeups. Spoilers for the young and the restless suggest that Lily Winters may have regretted firing Daniel Romilotti Jr. and Heather Weber at Chancellor Winters over trivial, private grievances. Of course, we should start off by acknowledging that it's tough to blame Lily for being upset and wanting to revenge. Without question, Heather and Daniel mistreated Lily, so we wholeheartedly support Lily's decision to fire them in retaliation and continue to be an amusing YNR character. Billy Abbott's worries from the episode that aired on March 27th suggest that Lily might pay a price for that choice. Lily may be subject to wrongful termination claims and other complaints since this concerns her personal troubles with Daniel and Heather, particularly given Heather's reputation as a skilled attorney. It won't be easy to let Omega Sphere go, even though Daniel thought about leaving and recognizes that Lily would need to make a fresh start, even in her professional life. In the weeks after Daniel's firing, if he begins to miss his gaming platform, Heather might wish to assist him in taking back control of Omega Sphere and moving it somewhere else. After Heather looks into it more, there may be some gaps in Daniel's contract. In any event, Billy cautioned Lily against going down this path, but in the end, she disregarded both his and Devin Hamilton Winter's counsel. Lily is the only one involved in this double-firing scenario, so if she learns about it, 
she might face the heat from Jill Abbott. You can expect that Billy will be upset with Jill and may even use this as evidence to support his claim that he should be in control. Billy may counter that he did a great job covering for Lily while she was away. Lily is making dubious choices that can jeopardize Chancellor Winter's future now that she is returning to her position after her leave of absence. Billy will undoubtedly contest at least that. Will Billy seize this opportunity to seize control and usurp Lily's throne? Keep checking back with us for our predictions on whether Billy will take Lily's place, as the young and the restless spoilers indicate Jill will receive updates on some unsettling news. Spoilers for the young and the restless indicate that Claire Grace would like to work with children. Emerging concerning the young and the restless. Summer Newman provided a sobering reminder, even though Claire may be passionate about that. Every Newman is obligated to return to the family company on a couple different occasions. Nikki Newman also told Claire that she was the greatest assistant she had ever had. In the future, may Claire and Kyle Abbott co-manage Newman Media? Claire Grace's uncertain future. YNR spoilers indicate that even though Claire wants to work with children, she may not pursue this career path in the future. Claire is correct when she says that her past would make it extremely difficult for her to get employment around children. Of course, that may be resolved by the Newman family, A.T. Jabot, Kyle, and Diane Jenkins Abbott are engaged in combat. We believe that Kyle's animosity will cause him to resign from the company, despite the mother and son's best efforts to manage their relationship there. A cautionary note from Summer Newman. According to previews for The Young and the Restless, Kyle and Summer just recently got to know Claire. Victoria Newman refrained from responding to Summer's inquiries in an attempt to keep Claire safe. But Summer quickly learned the truth from Victor Newman. Summer won't let Claire watch Harrison Abbott after that. However, Kyle might feel otherwise. Claire had received a warning from Summer as well. Summer forewarned Claire that working for the family company is a must for every Newman on a number separate times. Furthermore, it appears Claire will return to Newman Media at some time, as Nikki is missing the best assistant she has ever had. Kyle Abbott's Destiny Kyle may give up since he wasn't making any progress with Jabot. Given the indications of their romance, is it possible that Kyle and Claire will become the next big thing in Genoa City? Will this pair work together to lead Newman Media in the end? Clues abound that Claire and Kyle will wind up together. It's also hinted that Claire will return to Newman Media shortly. What prospects do you see for Claire going forward? Will there be a romantic relationship between Claire and Kyle? Will Claire return to Newman Media and take a joint lead role with Kyle? So what do you guys think about this update? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like my videos, please press like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time.